What is going on everybody? Team of Gaming here. I'm Kaz. I'm Jeremy. And today we are continuing our series of Remaking Bad Moosets with Steve. And before we get into that, uh, make sure you like, sub. We're trying to get the 600 subs. Uh, check out some of our other videos, our other Remaking Bad Moosets video. And let's get straight into this. So the big question is, why are we doing Steve? Well, the main reason why we feel Steve needs a video on changing his moveset is mostly due to one move, that being neutral special. The way that this move is used makes gameplay extremely boring. The neutral special, the, which is the blocks, if you're not familiar, is good at keeping people away so you can mine materials. Most characters have no options against it, and it's simply lame as hell. So we'll be tweaking a lot of special moves to make Steve more fun to play against, and we aim to make him slightly less campy and more rewarding to actually run at your opponents. There will also be tweaks with other parts, but that's just small stuff to make him more likable. The main thing is just changing the camping. And I do want to note that this video is more of a fixing his moveset video, not remaking it. His moveset overall isn't entirely bad, we just want to get rid of the campy aspect and make him more of an offensive character because realistically that's how he is in Minecraft. Like think of like how he is in PvP, yes he, he does run away when he's in disadvantage but not nearly as much as he does in Smash. He, he's, he doesn't camp in Minecraft and you can just forget about the whole building a house and camping there but you know, usually he's in zombies faces, he's using potions, using speed potions, strength potions, so we want to make him more of an offensive character. Okay, let's get into special moves, and this is where most of the tweaking is going to be done. Now, let's start off with neutral special. Now, the goal here is not to kill this move violently, but, I mean, just look at this. Just look. Look, look at it. You see, you see him trying. He's trying his best. But the Steve, he keeps just, he keeps running away. This is, this is unfun. Nobody, nobody wants to play this. Nobody. So... We are not going to kill this move, but we are definitely changing how it works to an extent. So with parts of the move that we nerf, we'll try to give back to the other parts, because there's three parts. There's building blocks, crafting, and then mining. So we're, when we take away from uh, building blocks, we'll give back to mining. So let's start with building blocks first, because that's the thing that everybody hates. The first change is that damage that the blocks take are now doubled, which means they are way easier to break. Wood is easier to break, iron is easier to break, grass is like really easy to break. Opponents still have to take the time to break the blocks, which is again going to give Steve players an opening. So the blocks still have a use even in the camping aspect, it's just much easier to get around them now. And this is the other change. This is the, the change that is really going to shoot blocks in the foot. We are making it so that players who run into blocks now cause damage to the blocks. So if someone runs into the block, like the, the block wall, the classic Steve wall, it's going to take damage. It's not going to break immediately, but if the blocks are like half health and you run into them, they're just going to, you're just going to go right through them. No resistance. So low health blocks are like not even there if you're running. And I know that's a big nerf. But blocks are still useful in a bunch of other aspects. Like, you can still use them in combos, you can still use them to get back to the stage, you can even still use them to camp and, and wall people in. It's just gonna be harder. But they still have very good uses, even without camping. Now to the other parts, crafting is gonna remain the same in terms of, like, tools. You're still gonna mine diamonds and all that, we're not really changing that. But we are adding something to mining, though. We are making it now that when Steve mines, he's going to be mining up other stuff. He's going to be mining items. And these items we're going to go over in a little bit. We're in the other special moves. You're going to have to wait for that. So those items are going to help him with more aggressive play rather than camping. So we'll get to that in a little bit. But moving on to side special mine cart. We are not really changing too much about this. We are just nerfing it a tad bit. This move is very good representation for Steve, but the move is a tad annoying and it's very good. We are only going to change very, very minuscule things, so don't think this move is going to be like bad, but it's definitely going to get a little bit worse. The first thing, we are going to change the speed about this move. Uh, it's going to be slightly reduced, so Steve players just can't minecart, 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 like, like a burst option that hits everybody because it's too fast. Well, online, it's like unreactable. 
to like to jump or shield. But offline you can get around it. This it's just stupid. This move is so comes out so fast and when Steve has all these other camping options, it's just it's just annoying. The other thing is we're getting rid of the super armor and I know that seems like a really bad, a big nerf, but when you get hit by this move, you get a full combo. You can get a uh, minecart and then like up air, up air into an up air chain, like they take 50%. So uh, this move doesn't really need armor when it's that good. You could also just do, um, decide to be fair and then get a bunch of damage. This move does not need armor at all. Why? Why does it need armor? It doesn't. So the move is so crazy good, but it's just a little nerf. Um, up special, the Elytra, that's just gonna be exactly the same. Uh, that move is, uh, that move is fine. It's good for recovering. Steve would really have no other up special. Like, maybe, like, he plays a slime block and jump off of it, but that's just kind of lame. It, ha it has to be Elytra, and there's no really way to nerf that without, like, like, ruining its intent. So we're just gonna delete that. Now for the new down special, TNT is now gone. You you'll see it in this down special, but this new down special is called the Minecraft Chest. So Steve is now gonna place down a chest and open it. And this chest will contain all of the items that you can mine in the new neutral special, the, the mining part of the neutral special. So when Steve looks in the chest, after, after down special is activated, a UI will pop up, and then you could scroll and choose whatever item you want. Then the next time you hit down B, you will use the item that you selected. So there are five items that Steve can get if he mines long enough while using the neutral special and they all come in a certain order you get them after like a certain amount of time of mining they're not random so like after 30 seconds you get this move and then etc so let's start going over the five items the first thing is the classic bow so everybody knows minecraft bow you shoot it it's classic so Steve is gonna aim forward his bow and he's gonna shoot uh, the longer you hold down the button, the further the arrow is going to go. That's simple, right? But there is a small catch. Steve only has three arrows. So, buddy's barking. Hold on. Alright, let me see if I can do this now. Steve only has three arrows, so that means you only get three shots and then the boat is gone. You're not going to get another bow. And the bow you get, like, after, like, 40 seconds of mining. It's pretty good. It can kill people off the stage, you, you can snipe people with it to get attack damage, it's not anything crazy. The next item you can get, you might have seen this one before, is TNT. Now the TNT acts exactly how it does in Smash currently. The only difference is now you actually have to mine it and get it, and then you can go through the chest and get it, but it, it acts the exact same. In fact, it might be a little bit stronger because it's rare now, you have, to, you have to mine for like a good amount of time to get it. The next item that you can get is Potion of Swiftness. Now, Steve is gonna just straight up drink this. He'll ch 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 ooh, chug it. And then for 20 seconds, he can move a tiny bit faster. It's not, it's not a great deal, but you, it's definitely noticeable. And then this is gonna allow him to do better combos, get back to the stage quicker, do a bunch of things quicker, and he's gonna be much more dangerous because Steve is already dangerous without being fast. But now he's gonna be fast, a little, a little bit faster. And then the next thing that you can get in the chest is the golden apple. Now, Steve will just eat the golden apple and he's gonna heal 16%. And he can only get one of these per stock. And the golden apple, it takes a while to eat and it also has a lot of lag. So you're not just gonna be like eating the golden apple like off stage while, while you're getting attacked. Like you're gonna have to take some time to eat it and then you can do whatever you were gonna do. It's not just like a quick little thing. And then the final item that Steve can get, this is the Ender Pearl. If you know anything about Minecraft, Steve is gonna be teleporting. He's gonna toss the Ender Pearl, and the longer the button is held, the further he's gonna throw it. And when it hits the ground or a wall or the ceiling, he's gonna teleport to wherever it hit. And if it goes off stage, nothing is gonna happen. You're not just gonna die, but it's gonna take a while for it to go off stage and then you, it's gonna have a little charge time and then you get to use it. Like, there's a lot of downsides if you miss. You're not just gonna get it back instantly. It's gonna take a couple seconds and then you can get it back. So you gotta be careful when aiming this thing. Another thing is Steve will also take 7% damage whenever he lands after teleporting because that's what happens in Minecraft. You take a tad bit of damage, so he's also gonna take damage. So now that the big lengthy part of the video is finished changing the main thing, the special moves, we're going to get into the last few things that we're changing about his moveset, what we're going to be fixing, and then the things that we're going to be keeping. The last thing about his actual moveset that we're going to be changing is up smash. Now, his original up smash, it's, it's just straight up jank. It's a giant lingering hitbox, it's like a multi hit, it drags you in. You could die off the top so early, so 
we're changing it to a more traditional just he swings upward with his sword now this will be like the same motion as up tilt and it's just going to be slower than up tilt and of course more powerful it is a smash attack so this is going to be still a pretty powerful move but it won't be as powerful as the original up smash there's just no way that move that move's crazy i don't know how it passed into the game and now some of the other things that should be changed these are going to be like the win animations and taunts now starting off with the win animations the win animation where he builds a house that's going to stay that's just a perfect win animation. He builds a house and he closes the door behind him. It's it's an awesome win animation. And now we have the win animation where he eats meat. Now this is already a taunt, so we found this to be kind of lazy. We changed this to be an ender pearl. Now the ender pearl is going to be flying onto the screen. And then when it lands, Steve is going to pop up in. And then he's going to walk forward while waving. And then the last win animation we're changing which is the creeper now this win animation is just i don't know it's just kind of like they threw things together it was like really lazy so we changed it to a fireworks show now steve is gonna walk in or run in and there's gonna be a lever on the ground he's gonna run in he's gonna hit this lever and behind him is gonna be a fireworks show like he activated it with redstone and he's gonna look at the fireworks and then he's gonna look at the screen and now his taunts that we're changing. The waving is gonna stay the same, and now we're gonna be changing the animation where he eats meat. And they should have done this right off the bat. We're changing it to him eating random food, like carrots, pork chops, cake. There's just so much food in Minecraft, and they should have done this right off the bat, especially because they didn't include the other foods, or they didn't include potions in the moveset like we wanted to so they could have at least made it like change from like meat to a potion to something else like you know they could have like a rotation of like three different things and then the last taunt we're changing is the teabagging taunt and we changed this to a minecraft dog he's gonna spawn in and he's gonna run around steve and then steve will pet it and this is another thing dogs or any other pets were also included in smash so we wanted to give them at least some representation since they're not a win animation or anything and lastly i'm gonna get into the things that don't have to be changed which is the remaining things we didn't really talk about the tilts and aerials now the perfect way to say this is that all of the tilts the aerials they were translated perfectly into smash how his his jab is the same as like his forward tilt like he could walk forward and just keep hitting his sword it's exactly what he does in minecraft and then how his aerials are like how up tilt is up there as well and he could do combos we chose to keep this in and not even change it because it helps him be the offensive character that we really want him to be he's not going to be completely offensive but of course these tools make it perfect so he's more in people's faces just like he is in minecraft like in pvp and we're also keeping every throw we're keeping forward and down smash and we were iffy about one of the aerials we were iffy about down air since we were changing the blocks up it kind of changes half of what down air is you can't like do the block and then down air and then you just grab someone off stage like that jank is gone and otherwise down air is okay it's a little more on the powerful side but we couldn't really think of anything else to change it so yeah like i said everything is perfectly translated into smash and there's nothing really that needs to be changed as far as the aerials and tilts go and that is going to be it for fixing steve's moveset let us know down below in the comments if we did a good job if we changed something you actually liked or if you actually don't mind campy steve and you think campy steve is fun we don't think he is let us know down there if if anything anything at all was done bad because we we were unsure on a bunch of things and if you like videos like this make sure you uh you like it and you subscribe we're just trying to get to 600 subs and have a good rest of your day see you later